Hey guys, what's up? We're cooking again. Always cooking. Yes, we are. So, we're back on the Asian food kick. Because it's really been helping my stomach feel better. This is, of course, the lovely news. Thank God. For YouTube. I have been looking and looking and looking. Sibo, 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 food, Sibo, prevention, Sibo, natural remedies, you know, just. <laughs> then, boop, I'm like, yay. So what I have here sauteing is some vegetables, frozen vegetables with some ginger that I threw in there. Hold on, you guys cannot see, I'm sorry. So. I want these nice and crispy, so I'm going to leave it one more minute for these, and then we're going to throw them in there. So, let's see. Let me turn the light on here so you guys can see better what's going on. Yeah, I want these nice, tender. You got to have vegetables with, um, you know, the meal. Olive oil, both are cooking in olive oil. So, Yummies for Dummies, please go check her out. Yummies for Dummies, where I got her awesome recipes from. for another three minutes on this side and then we'll put the other bag in with them and this way they were frozen so they're starting to unfreeze <laughs> yes yeah, so ginger 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 um, green onion, how she say? Red onion. You know, I love scallions. So, for those that don't know and that are new to my channel, welcome. Um, I have Like basically, I need to eat more fermented food. Basically, I have to change my diet. Yeah. So. Which is why I'm cooking Asian. Because as much as I love my Latino food, yeah. Um, you know, we got a lot of condiments and stuff. So I gotta cook different. I gotta learn. You know, I'm learning. So wait, why don't we learn together? Asian Latino, what's up? <laughs> Recipes, you know? Latino, Chino, Latino, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, this is really good with the ginger. Oh my gosh, yo. Plus I put it in my water with my strawberries. Because it just really soothes, soothes, soothes a lot, you know? Yeah. the other batch and this is my ginger water with strawberry okay now it's time to pop these out yeah, nice and crispy.
You know how you go and you're like, oh, that crispy beef. You guys. Here it is. And this was just meat left over that I didn't feel like frying. Because my back started to hurt yesterday. So I put it in. I was like, whoop. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I was like, ah, uh, yeah. We'll save it for another day. Which is today. Which is beautiful. So, okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these gloves. We're going to transfer it right to here. So Nicholas's godfather, Carlos Jones, is coming up and he's going to be finding a place here, you know? Nicholas is godfather, yes, so we're very blessed and happy. All right, seven, eight, nine, we've got two more minutes. I need to slice a little bit hot right here. Oh, let me show you what it looks like, by the way. Of course, you want to drain them because you don't want to see me drain it off there. Okay. Now we're going to put this other batch in right now. Either just beef um, with some salt and pepper and cornstarch. Put them in a bag and now I'm just frying them in olive oil. And it's three minutes on each side, so that's what I do. And I don't try to crowd the pan because you want them to fry, not boil and bake and you know you want them to fry. You can have the fried crispy chunks. I'm like, oh how come that's so good? Because they do it like this. <laughs> and these were actually three whole steaks that we had gotten. And I just went ahead and chunked them. And I was like, ooh. Something different, try to tie, you know, try. I was like, hey, you like it. So, you know, and I take it in the bag, you know what I mean? One more minute. Cold rice from yesterday, you know what I mean? <laughs>
think I was on Tina Trade Live. We were talking about how these skill is so lovely. Tina Trade, she's awesome. She was like, these killers will just, yeah, anything. I mean, really. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Well, you guys remember, I just remembered this yesterday. I just, you know. I'm going to wait this and this and... And one thing I'm going to put on right now, hold up. No worry, I'll be here. He ain't missing out on the body right here, you guys. But I'm going to pour some lime on that steak. Limon. Paul, come taste this steak with me, babe. Mm -hmm. To all those single mothers out there, what's up, single mamas? Making it happen every day. That's what we know how to do. Now we're going to. Ones that are not, leave them there a little bit, turn the fire off, do that, you'll be fine. That's what I do. Few of them are not, turn them around and let them stay there for a little while, they will be. Now, hard from Nick, you all can see it, watch. <laughs> Mama sees it. All right. That's it, yo. Delicious, huh? Polly's like, what? How did you make this? I was like, oh man, I do this and do that, you know what I mean? I was like, dude, I follow this beautiful lady.
Um, Chili flakes, yeah. Then what you do is la carne se pone adentro de la salsa y se cubre. Okay. And the budget of balls, you put them in there también. Okay. Some spaghetti from yesterday, we're going to make lo mein. Okay, mire. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm very grateful, you know, sometimes you say, oh, why God, you give this to me, why God? Now look at how beautiful we're eating. You see? That's why we have to embrace change because this change is good. Look at this, huh? You guys can see? <gasps> I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. How can I not tell? Better to momento. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Thank you, Jesus, for us food again. Paul! Yes. Venga! Like it. Mm -hmm. good, baby. Thank you, darling. Gotta have the air conditioning on because you guys know the hot flashes don't give in. Mm -hmm. Right, ladies? You know what I mean?
rice for me and rice for both. Rice for both of us. Polly, come on. You see? Homemade. Homemade. Are you guys encouraged? I hope that I can encourage you to also bring take out to your home to where you don't always feel like you have to go to a restaurant to eat healthy food.